Hi, I'm Colin Caleb from the SEC's Office of the Advocate for Small Business Capital Formation. For a small business seeking to raise capital, identifying and locating potential investors is critical, but can be a challenge. In some areas, individuals, often referred to as finders, help to identify and in some instances solicit potential investors to connect small businesses that need capital with the investors interested in supporting them. To provide additional clarity to the market, recently, the SEC issued a proposed order that would grant exemptive relief to permit an individual to engage in limited activities on behalf of businesses seeking to raise investment capital without having to register as a broker. Before I dive in, I wanted to highlight that an individual may not rely on a proposed exemption that I'll be discussing until the commission takes final action. This is only a proposal and is not final, so we encourage your feedback. And in fact, I'll share with you in a moment how to provide that feedback. The proposed exemption would provide a non-exclusive safe harbor for two classes of finders, to be called a tier one finder and a tier two finder, based on the types of activities they are allowed to engage in. The conditions for each type of finder would be tailored to the scope of activities. Now let's take a look at some of the key differences. To start, Tier 1 and Tier 2 finders could only be natural persons. And while both would be able to receive transaction-based compensation, they could not engage in general solicitation of potential investors. Tier 1 finders could not contact potential investors. However, Tier 2 finders could only solicit accredited investors. Additionally, Tier 1 and Tier 2 finders would only be able to help find investors in an exempt offering by a private or non-reporting company. And as for permitted activities, the proposed order would allow Tier 2 finders to engage in certain activities beyond what would be allowed for Tier 1 finders, such as contacting potential investors and distributing the company's materials to investors, but will require Tier 2 finders to make certain written disclosures to the investor. In a 12-month period, a Tier 1 finder would only be able to participate in one capital raising. Several other terms to these exemptions would apply. We encourage you to review the complete proposed order for more information. This proposed exemption is intended to provide clarity to small businesses, their investors, and other market participants, and establish clear lanes for both registered broker activity and limited activity by finders. This video was created by the SEC's Office of the Advocate for Small Business Capital Formation and is meant to provide only a very high level summary of the potential impacts of this proposal on smaller companies and their investors. I encourage you to take a look at the proposed exemptive order for more details. Check out our office's chart highlighted in this video for a high level summary and share your feedback with us. We need to hear your feedback as we shape the final order. Check out our office's how to comment video for more information on how to share your feedback. Help shape the future of capital raising.